Welcome to Sidekicks with Heather Goodenkoff and Lola, where we get to chat with your favorite authors and their pets. So I'm so happy today we get to chat with Matt Goldman. He's the New York Times bestselling author of the highly acclaimed Mill Shapiro series. He's also an Emmy Award winning uh, television writer and has been nominated for the Seamus and Miro Awards. Matt's television writing credits include Seinfeld, Ellen, and the new adventures of old Christine. Matt, thank you so much for being here today. We've tried Thanks for having a couple me. times and um, due to my technology on my end, we've had a rough time, but I think it's gonna work today. It is, I'm sitting outside. Hopefully that won't be a bad thing. No, I think it, it's beautiful, beautiful day. I mean, let me know if it gets too windy. I'm on a laptop, I can move us inside. No, this is great. This is great. Tell us about your sidekicks. Do I see one off in the distance there? Yeah, I think over this shoulder, I can't tell left and right on Zoom. That's Maisie. She's uh, looking for squirrels right now. And her sister, Clara, is back there also. She may run in and out of frame from time to time. Yeah. It looks like Maisie is like really standing guard. She's being very diligent. They stand very still. They're quite patient. Yes. These poodles. They're good. They're good squirrel chasers. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're poodles. So, um, yeah. Standard. Uh, they're standard poodles. They don't have poodle haircuts. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of people think uh, Maisie's a pointer uh -huh. um, just because she has short hair. I keep uh -huh. them clipped and tight. And yeah. Yeah. She yeah. Has <laughs> I look at, like, from a distance, she has a lot of the yeah. same markings as Lolo, and yeah. yeah. Maybe she'll come over here. Um, <laughs> oh, Clara is right behind me. Clara is right there. Yeah. You oh, can yeah. see. Yes. Yeah. Uh, standing vigil as well, it looks like. Or yes, protecting the yard from those squirrels. Yeah. How did um, your pets, Clara and Macy, come into your life? Uh, I was living in Los Angeles uh, six years ago, uh, writing television. Uh, before I moved back to Minneapolis full time, and that's when I got Maisie. I had had a golden retriever who passed away, and I made it about three weeks before I got her as a puppy. And then, and then uh, about two years ago, almost exactly two years ago, we got Clara. So when she was a little puppy. How, so, how did, um, Maisie take the new family member when? Uh, not great. <laughs> uh, she wasn't mean to her, but but Maisie would not let Clara cuddle up with her or do anything. Sure. They've become quite close now. They're quite bonded with each other. Just takes so. A time. Yeah. It took a little time, but uh, yeah. Now I now that Maisie seen Clara's impressive squirrel chasing skills, she's earned her respect and her <laughs> place in the family. <laughs> so um, so that's. Sounds like that's one of their favorite pastimes. Is it's their most favorite pastime. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, we have a yard full of squirrels, so they can do it. Yeah. They um they get pretty headstrong. I know Lolo is also a squirrel hunter. Mm hmm. You know, looks for rabbits, and um, yeah, we try and tell her, no, no, don't go after the cute things. <laughs> Just I know. I'm about ready to get bells for these guys. Oh, <laughs> let them know. Yeah something's coming <laughs> to give to give their prey a, a running chance yes. <laughs> head start <laughs> oh that's great so yeah you know it, like for me having a pet having lolo um you know she'll sit by me sometimes when i write but you know my the greatest co contribution is that that companionship obviously but yeah it still gets me out of my head a little my own head a little bit how about having pets for you as, as being a writer what does that do for you yeah, it really, uh, you know, when uh, I moved back to Minnesota in 2018, uh, and I got remarried shortly after that, but the five years before that, I was in Los Angeles, and I was by myself, and Maisie and I went everywhere together. Um, so some of that time I was in my place in Los Angeles writing but another lot other times I was working on shows and she went with me everywhere so uh, she went to Vancouver with me we lived in a high-rise for four months while we worked on a show up there um, and it just when it was just me home writing you know taking her out for walks 
really um, got me out of the house, got me moving, introduced me to people in the neighborhood. Uh, yeah, I've always had a dog. I don't know if I could survive without one. Did you have yeah. them growing up then as well? Yes. Yeah. And I and I, I hope this doesn't upset your viewers, but I have had dogs my whole life. They have always chased squirrels. None has ever caught one until Clara, who's the cutest <laughs> and sweetest dog, has caught several. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I think it's what they do. I mean, they're... It is what they do, and I don't want to... Yeah. punish them for what they were bred to do so right. that's why i'm thinking of getting a bell yeah <laughs> just so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We into the, a few situations like that with lola where she just gets locked on yeah uh, thankfully it's you know it's she's a very friendly dog and listens but you know they they get um they get locked on to uh you know something that they want to get their their paws on then they, they yeah so. yeah and clara the the chief murderer behind me um <laughs> she's the sweetest dog i've ever had she's yeah. never raised a lip or growled or done anything ever yeah. if another dog scares her she just runs over to me and like lays down like yeah. she doesn't have a, a a fighting bone in her body but that's what they do. Unless you're, unless you're a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to lose that fight. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So funny. So yeah. what about a favorite animal um, from literature for you? What, what books or, uh, you know, growing up or even as an adult, have you read? Well, I just recently reread John Steinbeck's Travels with Charlie. Uh, Charlie, who happens to be a standard poodle. I think he was a 10 year old male standard poodle in that book. Um, and he drove around the country with John, John Steinbeck and I never wanted to fly my dog. So I've always, when I, when I'd go back and forth between Minnesota and LA, I'd always drive. So I could really relate to that. Um, uh, I like that. And I like the E.B. White, Charlotte's web, all those characters. But of course, Wilbur was my favorite. Yeah. I think everybody wanted a pet pig um, in their childhood. Yeah, after yeah, I really did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so much fun. Yeah. Did you have a pet pig living in Iowa? No, no we did not. I, I'm actually a city girl. I, I'm oh, a you city are. Girl who always yeah. wanted to be a farm girl, and yeah, we always had pets growing up, um, dogs especially. But we had, you know, cats. Uh, one, I think, one cat. Um, we had birds like parakeets and we had gerbils. Yeah, we had that. We had that, gerbils. And, yes, um, they're always running on their wheel, getting in shape for that day they escaped. <laughs> <laughs> and we had hermit crabs, always had uh, hermit crabs. And they were, right. I mean, uh, I always thought it was the same hermit crabs. Little did I know that the lifespan of a hermit right. crab is not very long, but they just kept replacing. Yeah, I think we had hermit crabs too, but I don't remember them dying. Yeah, well, we must, we must have, have a death wish for some yeah. of the pets. There were six yeah. of us, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hands, um, turtles? Did you have turtles? We never had turtles. Never. Yeah, we did. I don't think it's legal to have turtles anymore. Oh, um, we had these little yeah. half dollar sized turtles. My brother brought home a tarantula once. Oh, <laughs> oh really? Wow. There's Clara right now. Yeah. See her little tail yeah. going? There she goes. Just, yeah, she she has a ball that looks exactly oh. like her. Oh yeah. So I some see. people think it's a goiter until she drops. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so much fun. Yeah. So tell us what you're reading right now. What for books? What, what do you have on your bedside table? I know with the pandemic, I've been actually reading a lot more. Um, yeah, I just finished Troubled Blood by Robert Galbraith, A.K.A. Um, J.K. Rowling. And I have to say the purported controversies in that book are non-existent. Okay. Yeah. I'm not talking about her Twitter feed or any of that. And I've read some of that and explanations of that. But the book on its own, I don't understand what anybody would find objectionable in that. And uh, it's a super voice. There's, she's got a web with so many characters. 
their personal lives and then the crime, all the suspects and the people involved. It's like a hundred characters. But you keep, tr it's, they're not hard to keep track of. That's the other amazing thing. I really, really, really love that series too. I, um, yeah. you know, the, the main character, Corm Cormac, uh, is an Cormoran. Cormoran, sorry. Yeah. An amputee and my son lost his leg. And oh, really? Yeah, it's so great to see characters and literature that reflect real people and, you know, challenges. And so yeah. that's really, you know. He's a great character. Love him, love him. So I have that too, and I'm thoroughly impressed because the last time we talked, when we had the last glitch, you hadn't right. picked up the book yet, and you're finished with it, and it's like this thick. Yeah, it's 900 and some pages. Yeah. It, yeah, it did uh, throw off my writing a little bit, <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm back on track with that, so that's good. Well, yeah. And talking about writing, you have a new book out. Dead West, yes. North and your Nils Shapiro series, and it's gotten rave reviews. Um, starred reviews from Publishers Weekly, who called it excellent, a dazzling tale, and Booklist, who says Goldman continues to please with interesting twists, great peripheral characters, insights into specific communities, and enough peril to keep readers turning pages past bedtime. And to top it all, all off, the New York Times recently described you as hilarious in your and so and I can, it's very nice yeah so yeah. wow what what great um <laughs> great great uh act you know great thing for th these great publications to be saying about you and your work and so much fun so tell us about dead west uh dead west uh features my private detective nils shapiro he's from minneapolis and the first three books are set in minnesota uh some in the city some up north but uh, in Dead West, a wealthy couple who lives on Summit Avenue in St. Paul, that's where all the big old lumber baron mansions are, they, they, uh, their grandson has recently inherited his trust fund and taken his millions of dollars to LA and they're scared to death he's gonna invest it all, blow it all, investing in movies and TV shows. And so they send Nils out there to find out what's going on. And it was really a chance for me to to write about my experience in Hollywood from a Midwesterner's point of view. And I wrote Los Angeles through Nils eyes as if I were seeing it for the first time. Um, and I had a lot of fun doing it. And yeah, people are liking it. So that's nice. Yeah, it's it's gotten just rave reviews. So much fun and such a fun series. And um, oh, thank a you. Great take on the, the Midwest and so much fun so um do, what do you have next for us are you working on your newest i'm working on my newest that will be out in the summer of 2022 mm -hmm. it is a standalone okay oh. uh, same publisher with forge uh, more of a family uh kind of suspense mystery thing not a private detective or yeah. or a police officer well i cannot wait cannot yeah wait. Thank you so much for spending some time with us on this beautiful day. And yeah, lovely. Maisie and Claire with us. and Yeah, um, they're very excited about something behind me. I hear I them running that. around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, Matt. Oh, they're there. Yeah, thank you, Heather. It was nice to see you, and I hope you have a good weekend. You too. Bye.